So this is the step 4 of the T-Rex activity and the purpose of this step is for you to learn about the concept of lists or arrays in programming and how you can randomly select and generate obstacles based on certain elements selected from your list. Alright, so here you can see that we have our dino and what we are going to do is we are going to randomly create obstacles in the dino's path that the dino has to jump across. All right, so you will see that we have two blocks here called cactus one and cactus two. So there are two different types of cactus obstacle present in the game. Now you will see we have another block here called set obstacle two. So what we can do is we can drag this cactus one block and place it inside the set obstacle two block. And similarly, you can place the cactus two block here as well. So what we are doing is we are creating an initial list of two obstacles called cactus1 and cactus2. Okay, and now we have a block called when game is running. So this is going to keep on running forever in your game. Okay, anytime the game, as long as the game is running, this block will keep on running on its own. So what we can do is we can place this randomly create obstacles at every seven meters block inside of this. So this blue block that says randomly create obstacle is going to randomly generate an obstacle from these two lists, from the list of these obstacles. So cactus one or cactus two. So this block will generate a random obstacle, choose between cactus one and cactus two, and it will put that obstacle in the dino's path. So let's see how this works. You can also change the distance here from seven meters to let's say make it uh, six meters. So now the distance between the obstacles that are generated is going to be 6 meters. Let's see if this works or not. So I click on the green play button here and you can see now there are cactus in the dino's path as obstacles. So I have to make the dino jump across these obstacles. So I'm not collecting coin right now but you can see that as the dino moves forward more and more obstacles are generated in its path and they are generated randomly right so you can see sometimes you have the two pronged obstacles and sometimes you have the three pronged obstacle the cactus let me reset this and show you something else so here if we change this cactus one to cactus if we change this cactus two to cactus one here so now you see our obstacle is saying set obstacle to cactus one and cactus one. What this will do is now when you click on the green play button, because earlier we were randomly creating, selecting one of these two obstacles, right? Cactus one and cactus two. But now your obstacle list contains only one type of obstacle. So rather than randomly selecting and generating between two different types of obstacles, this will just create one type of obstacle in the dino's path. So you can see that there's just one type of obstacle that will be generated. Let me show you here. So you see, you will only see the cactus that has two prongs appear in the game now. So you can control what type of obstacles you want in the game using this list. Okay, so once you have completed, once you have selected six coins, you will move on to the next step. If you want to keep playing the step, you can click on keep playing. And once you want to move to the next step, you can click on this next step button. 